Maurice Greenberg is the former chairman and CEO of Insurer AIG, and he believes economic growth can be stifled if businesses have to pay too much in taxes. He sat down with Karina Huber, who began it by asking him what would happen if Germany left the Eurozone. I think it would be very difficult. If Germany left the Eurozone, the DMARC would soar. And if the DMARC soared, what are they going to export? Right. So it's in Germany's interest to have the Eurozone survive. Other than Romney's policies on China, which you disagreed with, you've made no secret of the fact that you backed a Romney win. The fact that Obama has won, how do you think it's going to impact the U.S. economy? Look, first of all, we're Americans, not Democrats or Republicans. We're Americans. And we want our economy uh, to really grow. Oh, how many camels and, uh, were needed? And we have to do things that are, yeah, both right. sides are going to have to compromise well, we want to in order to get there. there. Now, we're facing a cliff all right. Thank you, everybody. on January 1. Uh, there's a lot of conversations going on well, right welcome. now. Uh, if you're going to hobble business by taxing it to the point where it simply is going to be stagnant, it's not going to create the jobs and the, and the, and the increase that we need in, uh, in, in, uh, in revenues. Just by taxing, getting the revenues by tax, just look across the pond what they did in Europe. If you have entitlements by taxing the rest of the economy to do that, uh, then the rest of the economy begins to suffer. Romney said that he would have called for Bernanke's resignation. I understand that you, you would also like to see him go. Why do you think he hasn't done a good job? You know, I think that uh, printing money as much as we've done, uh, right now they're printing about $40 billion a month uh, to continue to stimulate the economy. You know, I think that, I don't think that's the issue. I think it's the, it's the uncertainty that's in the economy that's keeping it from growing. And, and talk to me about inflation. I've, I've heard you once say that you think it's going to tick up quite substantially. You're going to pay a price for this. And when do you think it's going to happen? And then when will interest rates rise as well, well in your prediction? I, th I, I think it depends what the Fed policy is going to be as to when interest rates are going to rise. I mean, they have said they're going to, I think, remain low till 2014. 14, do you think yeah. that it's going to rise before then? Or what's your It take? depends on... You can't take that in isolation. I think it'll depend about what happens on the tax agreements, okay, and what happens on regulation. And then what, obviously what happens in the rest of the world to some extent. In terms of the U.S., where do you see the opportunities? Oh, lots of different areas. You know, but I think, I think in the U.S., yeah, my own view is uh, the stock market is the stock market is down about 700 points since the election. What does that tell you? A lot of confidence around. Or is it a good time to buy? Well, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with that. I haven't lost faith in America, don't get me wrong. And I never will. You never will? No. Why do you say that with such confidence? Because I believe that we attract people who are uh, looking for opportunity in this country. I think we have a new, should have an immigration policy that, that brings people. That's what made America. We're a nation of immigrants. All the people here weren't, weren't Indians. People came from other countries looking for opportunity. And many succeeded, and some didn't, but many did. If you have the opportunity, what more can you do?